What is going on, guys? This is Miasin, and we just got the OCG ban list for April 1st. This is kind of crazy. I can't uh, wait to look at it. And uh, yeah, hopefully fire decks are completely destroyed. I'm just kidding. Newly forbidden, nothing. <laughs> all right, so we've got a minimum of one Snake Eye Ash, one Diabell Star, one Wanted, all those cards, which is, you know, it's, it's interesting. It means that at best, I mean, at most, they're going to be uh, hurting the deck's consistency, but not necessarily its power. So everything that you could do before, you can still do now. But maybe it's going to be so inconsistent that Voices, Voice, and Time by Dragon are going to, you know, uh, dominate now. Anyways, let's get into the newly limited cards. So the first one is, I uh, kind of spoiled it, Title Dragon Ruler of Torrents from Forbidden to Limited. This is the final Dragon Ruler, uh, even for the OCG. Uh, for the TCG, I know it is, uh, but I don't know about them. I think now they have everything, which means that, yeah, you can play uh, all four Dragon Rulers. Nobody cares because they suck, uh, completely suck. Like, even the best ones suck. You know, it speaks volume about the power creep when some of the best cards are that, that from 10 years ago are just irrelevant now. But to be fair, the game has changed a lot. And the main reason why these cards are banned is Dark Matter Dragon. And that card is still banned and will always be banned. Unless it gets errata And I don't even know how it could be errata to make it, like, still good, but, like, less good. Not really. I mean, three... Mi Sending three dragons from deck to grave as a cost is a stupid mechanic. Anyways, the second one is Wanted Seeker of Sinful Spoils from 3 to 1 as well. This basically means that the deck has less consistency, but it's not even that relevant, honestly, when you're playing 3 Witch, 3 Ash, 3 Bonfire, 1 Wanted, I mean, and you still have 1 for 1. You're not even losing that much consistency, and in the OCG, they were playing 1 Diabell Star, 3 Wanted in the Far King build. So since they were on 1 Witch, 3 Wanted, they were on 4 Witches, basically, and 3 of them kind of gave you a, a refund your money back, but with this configuration, they still have the same amount of starters if they choose to replace the 2 lost copies of Wanted for 2 extra Diabell Star. It's just that they're going to be getting their money back a little less often, That that's it. But again, in terms of our level, this changes absolutely nothing. And there can only be one going from 2 to 1. Not a super noticeable change. It doesn't really impact that much about Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean, the Runic Stun is going to be, you know, getting hit a little bit. But the difference between, like, a 2 of and a 1 of is you're drawing it, like, 10% less often. It's not even, like, that relevant. So, honestly, I don't really think this limited section is, is important. In this forbidden section, obviously, there's nothing. So, <laughs> but to be fair, I, I do agree with not banning anything right away. I, I think this is a little too early to ban cards. Right now, I think the correct approach is just to limit a bunch of cards, just to hurt the consistency, but still allow people to, you know, use some engines in creative ways, such as Infernoid, for example. Didn't really get the opportunity to shine too well because it's getting overshadowed by, you know, the other decks. Anyways, newly semi-limited. So, if the World Shell is just a seer, this is just Konami being careful for no good reason. If people weren't playing it at 1, what makes you think that people will care if it's a 2 or 3? You could just unlimit the card now. This is really stupid. Konami deserves, like, like the, the biggest award in history for um, making SP Little Knight go from 3 to 2. I actually think this is, like, this has to be a joke, especially considering the fact that this is April 1st. But it's not a joke. <laughs> this is not the first time that they're doing that. I just find it hilarious how SP is going from 3 to 2. Huh? Yeah, like, let, let's play 3 SPs in our deck. No. And bro, like, what is 2 SP gonna change either when freaking 99.99999% of the player base is playing 1 uh, anyways? And sometimes you might see 2. So the card could have gone limited. That would have been, like, understandable. Like, still a little stupid. I just say ban IP Mascarina. And then SP Little Knight is, like, welcome to stay because then it's only a going second option. I just don't want my opponents to summon SP on my turn. That's the only unfair thing. IP Mascarina has always been the issue. I mean, there were times where the card was kind of fair, but now it's just getting unfair. And SP Little Knight is the card that kind of just triggered everything. Uh, Fire King High Avatar Kirin. Thank you, Konami, for forcing people to improve the way they play Fire Kings. This reminds me a lot of how the limited Infernity Barrier back in the days. So that literally forced people to, like, make their deck more consistent by playing Break instead. Something like that, so that they had less barriers 
which made them break less. This is exactly the same thing. Kieran going from three to two, uh, insanely stupid when you're already playing two, literally changes nothing to your life. And if you're crying about this, uh, get a life. Snake Eye Ash from three to two, this... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna make fun of my boy Steven Triff, man. He was playing two Snake Eye Ash to begin with. So this changes nothing for him. To be fair, uh, Steven's list made sense. He was playing with like the Sky Striker cards. Uh, not a lot of hand shops, a lot of like one ofs and two ofs, like OCG style deck list. Random ratios. It, it is coherent to like his way of playing because he's, you, you know, you know, Steven, he always plays decks in a completely weird way. And for some reason, he was playing only two Snake Eye Ash because apparently it's a brick. I, I, I do disagree with that. You, you want to physically draw Snake Eye Ash more than any other card because if you physically draw Ash, you don't lose to Droll. Whereas if you draw Bonfire, sure, you have the option to search Ash or Populous, but then you, you do lose to Droll considerably harder. And Snake Eye Ash is just a good card, you know, it's it's a good normal summon, it's a good top deck, it's a good body to have in your deck, whatever, it's it's always a good card to have access to. Semi-limiting it is not impactful enough, considering the fact that Wanted also got limited, they just lost three cards. Again, for Fire King Snake Eyes, this is not super impactful, but for pure Snake Eyes, I do believe that this really matters because of the way they were playing their deck. So I do think that the pure Snake Eyes deck is going to be seeing drastically less play. Far King, it doesn't matter. Again, Kirin going from three to two, this just is, is a bonus for them. And then Kaiser Coliseum going from three to two, this is insanely stupid. The card is degenerate. It should have never been a thing in the first place. It should get banned, not semi-limited. And finally, we've got Pot of Extravagance from 3 to 2, which is also very stupid because it also makes uh, Voices Voice Player's deck build better. They were playing four pots before, which is bricky as hell because if you draw two, then you've got one useless card in a deck that already has a very slow start problem. That's the that's the issue with Voices Voice. It's not the grind game. It's not the turn three, turn four. No, 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 no. It's turn one. Are, are you capable of making an unbreakable board or breaking an unbreakable board? If the answer is no, it doesn't matter how grindy your deck is, how many potential pod cards you might have for the future. Nobody cares about that whatsoever. And with Extravagance going from three to two, people will now play two Extravagance, one Prosperity, as well as two to three pre-preparation of rights. It depends on how you want to slice it, but that's actually a positive thing yet again for Voices Voice. So another extremely stupid hit. One stupid hit, two stupid hits, three, four, five. The only somewhat intelligent hit that I kind of can agree with a Snake Eye Ash going from three to two, only because of the fact that they're also limiting wanted. If they didn't do that, then only semi-limiting Snake Eye Ash would have been also very foolish, but whatever. Anyways, for the unlimited summon sorceress from Forbidden to Unlimited, with a Narata, of course. Yeah, so uh, we're going to be looking over that one very soon, but it's not like that relevant. Who, who cares, honestly? Uh, Girasu, the Orchest Mech Knight from semi-limited to unlimited. Yeah, okay, uh, again, from two to three, like anyone's gonna notice, not really. Uh, Supreme King, Dragon, Dark Worm. Oh my god, wow, what a huge boost for Melodious, not really. Again, nobody cares. Ride of Aramisia from two to three. I swear to god, everybody was only playing one anyways. <laughs> this is so irrelevant. Like, people were playing three Water Enchantress for sure, because that one's like the better card and it can also recycle back the right from graveyard to hand but nobody cares about having two or three rights it's so irrelevant like limiting the card doesn't even make the engine worse like that ass but limiting water enchantress would definitely make the engine worse and infernity launcher from two to three you can unlimit every single infernity card and it's never going to change the fact that the deck is too slow in today's format, like, if you have to wait one full turn or two turns in order to play, you're late behind, and you can't even play hand shops in Infernity. Give the deck, like, everything. It's, even, even in the TCG, nobody cares. And change of heart from two to three, again, also irrelevant. Any board breaker, any one for one th that can be negated is always trash. Like, even Dark Roller that can't really be negated is still not good enough because combo decks, they, they, they get so many diverse interruptions that they always have the ability to deal with these kinds of things like in the tier elements deck for example they could search the crime which was the counter trap in whatever kind of deck they can always search trap cards or search hand shops or get stuff in the graveyard like promethean princess so just being able to steal one monster with one card is just not good enough. Like my grandmother always said, there is no difference between Change of Heart, Fisher, or Regeki when it's getting negated because its effect end up being the same. Bait one negate. Nice deck. Anyways, now for the errata of Summon Sorceress. Again, uh, as a friendly reminder, this is one of the most ridiculously broken Link 3 monster this game has ever seen. And now it's getting errata, so hopefully they're not going to murder it too much. Link 3, Dark Spellcaster, again, uh, same thing as, uh, as as always. You can only use this card's name once per turn. If this card is Link Summoned, 
you can special summon one monster from your hand in defense position to your opponent's zone discard points to but negate its effect then okay this is get where it gets really weird because this card did not do that before then you can special summon one monster with the same type as that monster from your deck in defense but negate its effects and if you do you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except monsters with the same original type as that monster summoned from the deck. So in other words, if you understand what this means, you can only use summon sorceress. Hold on a second. Yeah, you can only use summon sorceress if your opponent has no monsters in column two and four that and you have a monster to summon to, to give it to, to their field and that uh, you can summon a monster from the deck with the same type and you don't mind being locked under the type of whatever whatever monster you're summoning. Depending on the deck, this could still be pretty good. And also, giving a monster to your opponent is not a bad mechanic because... I mean, you are negating the effect of the monster you're summoning from the from your hand to your opponent, so it's it's a little rough, but you can 100% bait an Imperm, because then your opponent controls the monster, so he's not going to be able to Imperm. So at least there's that. Summon Sorceress is still a card that uh, forces out hand traps from, uh, from your opponent. Maybe not Valor, but it depends. Like, again, summoning a monster from the deck is still a decent mechanic. You would have to figure out, like, a, a good way to abuse this card. Uh, clearly, in Warrior Turbo Dex that, you know, abused Firewall Dragon, this card was ridiculously broken because it had no restriction. You could summon a Gooky Monster or Malicious or whatever, and then just use its Graveyard Effect because it doesn't matter if you're negating the effect. It's kind of like Metal Chonios. The goal is just to summon something that floats, and then you're getting a lot of advantage off of that. Again, being locked under that original type is a little rough because usually you're playing this in combo decks and pile decks that just play a bunch of different types, either in the main deck or extra deck, so... I do think this restriction does matter, but again, someone with like a really high IQ might figure like a Burrow can combo for this. And Summon Sorceress getting unbanned in the OCG 100% means that it will get unbanned in the TCG as well. So keep an eye out on this card. And you know what? If this video gets 1000 likes, I will try to figure out as many broken combos with Summon Sorceress featuring its errata. So make sure you, uh, make sure you smash the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate you guys. Anyways, that's it for this video. You guys, thank you so much for watching. And uh, let me know how you feel about this ban list. Do you think it was a good ban list? Do you think it was a dog shit ban list? And also, do you think Summon Sorceress is going to be changing that much to the metagame? I want to hear your guys' thoughts, and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.